Hey, people. So, let's see what the tea is for today. December the 6th. What's going on? Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can spill some tea. Sip some tea. Hopefully it goes down well. All right, let's see what's going on for today. With the collective. What's going on? This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. It's just what, you know, what is going on currently for the collective, okay? Let's see. That's what a lot of you are dealing with. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. It helps to circulate the video so other people can watch it as well. I want to thank you guys for all of the comments, all of the likes, all of the shares, all of the subscriptions as well, okay? All right, guys, so here we go. Wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. Somebody's very happy, very, very happy. I feel like a lot of you are celebrating too. Celebrating. Heavily. Drinking, partying, going to weddings, looking for weddings coming up this weekend, I feel like. Another wish card. A lot of you have been dreaming about something that is like coming into fruition it's like you've been hoping for a while you've been you've been looking for this um magnificent event to happen for a long time now and it's coming true it's coming true a lot of you are joining with somebody and i feel like this is somebody that you've had your eye on for a while you really thought this was the ideal person Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Feeling very passionate, strong, um, strong-willed. Not giving up. Somebody was not giving up on the love of their life, I feel like. This person feels like you guys can stand the test of time. Or you feel like you can stand the test of time with this person. Aquarius, energy, Pisces. Hmm. Somebody with a very, very strong belief system. Somebody that believes in, you know, very aligned with, you know, their spirituality. Passionate about it. Very passionate about it. You have Taurus energy present now. You know, and I said that um, somebody's preparing to get married. Somebody's preparing to get married here. That's very strong. Sagittarius energy strong here. I almost feel like somebody's having second thoughts though. Like not really second thoughts, but um, just having cold feet. You know, is this really right for me? Um, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right person? I feel like this is the right person.
I feel as though a lot of you are drinking, you know, trying to keep yourself from, you know, getting out of this. You're trying to stay positive. There is a need to stay positive because I feel like this person is a good person. I feel like this person is a really good person. This person may, you know, they, they have their morals though. They have their beliefs and um, they stick by them. They stick by their beliefs. Somebody here is very, very frightful of losing themselves um, when it comes to the other person. Holding back. It's hard to hold back, though, because you love this person or they love you, however this energy is going. For those of you who is resonating with, um, it's hard to hold back from this person because, you know, instinctually you feel that this person is a good person. They work hard and they play hard. This person is somebody that can really take care of you. Can really take care of you here and want to. Very balanced, very grounded. Um, I feel like they also want to lead a very, not just spiritual life, but I feel like they want to, um, they are somebody that really likes to go to church a lot. Um, and that's how they, they strengthen their belief. They pray a lot. They have a strong belief system. I believe this person, somebody here is um, a business owner. They are a business owner. And then somebody else here is, um, um, I feel like a pastor. And I feel like the pastor is um, not the person that's looking at this reading. The pastor has, has a congregation. And that's probably why the Six of Wands is not here. Because um, there's, there's no ego. And there's no, well, there has to be some ego. But there's a healthy dose of ego um, involved with this person. They are more towards building their congregation, you know, bringing people on board with, um, you know, strengthening their belief system, sharing the knowledge. They travel a lot as well for, um, for the church to spread the word. And I feel like the other person involved is really not sure if they can um, live up to what is expected of them in this relationship. They feel like they're expected to be a certain way because this is a pastor that they're dealing with. And then I see um, some of you have been broken hearted. Like in the past, you're healing from that. And you have this new person coming in that, you know, keeps telling you, you know, trying to reassure you that they love you and um, 
that you guys can can build upon something and have something like they're trying to win you over but you know it scares you to where you just want to run away and protect yourself here even though you feel this huge connection with this person they want to build with you we have four to the eight of coins. They want to bring you out of your shell. They want to show you that, you know, they'll be there for you, that they'll protect you. They're being very, very patient. And they're showing you that they'll be patient with you. They see you as marriage material. For those of you who this is a new person for, they definitely see you as marriage material. The only concern that they have is that you don't see yourself right now as um, marriage material, um, like you're not ready. Somebody's not ready. The other person is. Very much so. Very much willing to jump into it with both feet. Other person's running away. They want it because they feel the love. They feel the stability. They feel the genuineness in this person. But it's scary. Okay? So, guys, um, that's the tea for today. And I will be speaking with you soon.